Welcome everybody to the 38th episode of the Take Aim Games Cast. I'm your host Scott Mills, the Microsoft slash PC expert, and on my left, I've got Brett Wolf, the PlayStation expert. Hello, hello. And on my right, I've got the Nintendo expert, the little bit of everything expert, and sometimes the newsman. It's Eric King. Hey, I'm excited for this episode. Yeah, yeah. There's been uh, some talk going around between us uh, of some stats against Microsoft. But first, I think we want to. No, more, more that'll hate tease. On Xbox. Yeah, what is, what it was more it? hate on Xbox lately the last couple of weeks. Oh, hate. And I brought the stats. Hate? Okay. So stat, the stat man. I'm the stat man. Stat man. Yeah, you should probably add that to Xbox. my title. <laughs> I'm the stat man. <laughs> the stats now. man. Okay. But yeah, I brought some statistics to. Uh, uh, for one argument, one side of the argument, I mean, I who knows which side I'm on, nobody knows. Mm. Could be on okay. the Xbox side. Oh god, could be. Maybe. Alright, All right, okay. so what? We want so, to do trivia here? I think we want to do trivia first. Let's yes, so you're, you're up to the oh, yeah, first do. on the hosting. Oh. So what's the <clears> score? <throat> yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you guys a recap here real quick. We got Eric, 8 points. Brad, 8 points. Scott, 6 points. Okay. There's a chance to go, Scott. These are some easy questions today. I think the viewers might get nine out of nine today. Nine out of nine. I got nine confidence in them. Viewers. You got this, Colin. You're going to get more than two <laughs> this week. <laughs> All right. So, today, I switched it up a little bit. We're not doing Nintendo today. We're doing, like, areas and games. Areas. Or regions, you know. Like oh, map no. regions? Well, just general like areas. Planets? Plants or just... Yeah, it could be. It could be a mix of places. <laughs> just... Areas. Oh no. Games. So, okay. anyways, is are these Nintendo games just any? It's just game? all over the place. Just all over. The place. Okay, so we're gonna start out with an easy one. And we have to give the game that this area well, I'll relates ask the, to. Uh, I'll ask the question, okay. and then it'll okay. just it'll be self-explanatory once you hear. Okay. okay. Uh, <clears throat> what is the world in WoW called in World of Warcraft? What is the world oh, in shit. World of Warcraft? Oh, oh I know. I know this, and I... <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one if you got it in your head. Okay, um, so next one. Name two of the 27 Overwatch competitive maps. You see this? You got 27 candidates. You can't name two of them. <laughs> Are these the countries? They're the map names. <laughs> okay. okay. It's so easy. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, here we're back on easy track for you guys. What city is Fallout Four set in? Yeah, you know that one. All right, on to the next one. <clears throat> what game is the Johto region set in? Wait. What? What, what game? game? Okay. Yeah. I know. Okay. All right, uh, this is your bonus one here. Uh, what state <laughs> and county is Far Cry Five set in? County. Or, what? Yeah, what state and county? Yeah. What state and county? Yeah. I mean, another state, but. I don't know if I I don't think one. I don't like these questions. All right. Uh, what is Shepard's ship name in Mass Effect? I knew that was good. I knew that was gonna be a question. I just I knew it. Um, <laughs> um, it's got one. Of course, I haven't played it in a while. I know. You don't need like a full name because there's kind of like a full name to it. But um, what is the name of the hub in Destiny? Reminds me of an old saying. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> You're like, I can't wait to hear the answer. All right, and last question. Name one of the five maps on Apex Legends. This is easy. <laughs> I don't play this game. Wait, so that's only eight questions, though. I thought we had, like, not eight plus a bonus. Yeah, the bonus was the park kind one. You got another county. Yeah, but there's only number seven, though. No. 
Four was the wild one. Second one was the Overwatch. Three was Overlap. Four was. The... I, know, but I, I did. I did eight questions plus a bonus. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, um, yeah. So we had like nine questions. Yeah, but the bonus is if you can name a count. The bonus was. Oh, five. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a hundred different points. So yeah, kind of stayed to the, yeah. the main point. The bonus. Got it. Got it. So what was the last question? I'm sorry. Uh, name any one of the five maps on Apex Legends. I can picture one of them, but. Maybe yeah, clearly my, my name is one of them. <laughs> King's Landing? <laughs> Damn, oh, that's kind of my answer. Oh, wait, that's uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not. All right, uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and go back to Rome. All right. Question one, what is the world and World of Warcraft called? Ezra. Ezra. There you go, that's Ooh, one for each. See, told you, easy questions. <clears throat> Name two of the 27 Overwatch competitive maps. I had no guess. For no this. guess? <clears throat> I, said, I said China and Tokyo. China and Tokyo, huh? No, not quite. You want me to list all 27? No, no, I just know that we got it wrong. All right, uh, what city is Fallout 4 set in? Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. There you go, point for each. Full practice, let you go. Uh, what game is the Johto region set in? Pokemon Gold and Silver. Yep, Pokemon Gold and Silver. There you go. All right, um, what state and county is Far Cry 5 set in? Give a guess, Scott. Um, I said Mexico. Well, it's not state. <laughs> I, <laughs> <don't think laughs> so. I said Montana. Montana. And then, so it's one point, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I said Montana County. Hope County. Hope County, okay, damn it. So, all right, uh, what is Shepard's ship name in Mass Effect? I said M7, I couldn't think of I it. I said Foundation. It's not Foundation. Normandy. Normandy. Oh! <coughs> I knew I that. that one, I thought you were both going to have that one. I should yeah. have. I don't know why. I, I, I point out. <clears throat> yeah, if I would have thought about it long enough, but we only have so much time. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like, yeah. um, <clears throat> what is the name of the hub in Destiny? Tower. I said Tower of Light. The Tower. Oh, did I get points for Tower of Light? I said Tower. That's a tough call. <laughs> that's, that's your call, Brad. What do you think? I've never heard it called the tower. Like, I don't know. Did he I, get the tower. I knew tower or something, but I thought there was I, some other part of it. I will give it to him because he said a tower. That's yeah, you can chime in, fans. We'll give it to him, but I thought it should have been tower, but we'll give it to him. He had it in there. Uh, name any of the five maps on Apex Legends. King's Landing. As it's close. <laughs> As a Kingfield. King's Canyon. Uh, oh. World Dead, yeah. Olympus, Stormpoint, and Broken Man. So, so I got a king in there. Does that count as a point? No, I <laughs> think I told you. <laughs> I don't think that's a count. So I got okay. So you guys are Scott got eight, Brett's got eleven. Yeah, I got five right. So I tied down. Like, yeah, I had four right. So wait, I should. Yeah, no, I wait. I had six before this, right? <laughs> oh yeah, ten. Sorry. Okay, it's a two point break. I don't know how rank Roman numerals over here. Yeah, you have thirteen, bro. Yeah. I don't know my Roman numerals. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that was it for the trivia this week. So hopefully, if you knew, if you like your easy one. That was a, that your, was a high scoring uh, multiplayer trivia. games and. Uh, your first person. I mean, it was the highest scoring trivia yet. You guys are doing pretty good, I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess players. that's a lot of it. Now I think of a topic for mine for um, next next time because I. That's right, you're up next. I had a good one that I was going to try to do today, but I was worried we were going to get like hit with copyright. I was going to like bring music for each Oh, we should. And be like, oh, what's this? It would, from? Yeah, we cut immediately. <laughs> so then, okay, so I think of a next topic for um, next time then. Okay. Yep. All right, cool.
All right, so next thing on the agenda, I guess we can talk about what we've been playing lately. Brett, you said that you had a game that you wanted to talk about that you've been playing? Yeah, I think Eric would appreciate this. So I started playing again, Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh, nice. So I just started playing that again, I picked that up. Um, I don't know how you feel about this. With, in Horizon Zero Dawn, when you hit like um like a fire, Mm -hmm. It will like turn green to show that you got it, mm -hmm. but in this new game, Forbidden West, it doesn't light up that you've like hit it. Is that like? Did you notice that when you were playing? I think it gets like darker or something. It does, but it's like it's like not too much of a difference. So it was like green in the first one or something. I guess because I'm thinking from like the previous game was that it would be like wouldn't be filled in if you. Well, I think green on the new one is like your quest. Well, the quest markers are still the same. Yeah. I'm talking like the the. Like the HUD. Talking about on the map, right? Yeah, like you're playing and you have like the interface up. Yeah, I think it just darkens. I think you can tell pretty easily. Like, see, I'm not having trouble with that. It's been kind of like I don't like that quality of life, in, like that quality of life improvement. Like, I just don't think that's an improvement uh, at all. It's like because it, when you've done something in the game in the first one in Zero Dawn, it would kind of like switch that green, like a check mark, kind of like that you've visited it. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one that wants to complete as much as I can if I come to a certain point. Yeah. But like none of them were. Like, yeah, no, there change. was definitely something they did where you can notice it, but yeah, I think it was just like a little dimmer, like when you didn't hit it or after you hit it, I don't yeah. know what, which way it was, but it's been a little bit since I played that, but... I mean, the, the game, the control is still good. Huge, it's big. I'm, I'm trying to run through the main story because I know I'm going to be able to hit everything. Mm -hmm. And I, know there's like, like, I think there's like seven or eight different side quests you have to do with the Platinum, which I'm trying to go for. Yeah. So I'm just trying to like kind of like not speed my, right, speed my way through it, but... Kind of just get through the story, so yeah, I played on like normal difficulty all the way through. Not be like the main story. I was doing side quests early on, but I like fell off of them. But so I mostly did main quests. But I think it took me like four or five hours or something like that. Did you did you grab them? Oh, I know what's green. It's the side quests. Yeah. When they have an exclamation point, I like the main quest of side quests. Yeah. So you're right about that. Um, because like I, there's just so many side quests too. It's like. There's, you go to a new area, there's like five, six different people you have to talk to. Yes. And like they all these different side quests. I'm like, I guess if you're really into it, you can do all of it. But like, yeah, what are, are those side quests like? Are they like good story content or are they just pretty generic? Yeah, there's like, just so many stuff. of them, though. Um, That's my issue with it. I, I, I kind of felt like it was more like generic in terms of like, go here, yeah. get me this part. Well, there's certain back. ones that you can tell are kind of like bigger side quests. But yeah, there's a lot of just like go go grab this, fucking bring it back. Yeah. But uh, there is like some yeah, side quests though that do have story elements to it. Though. And then one thing I don't like too is that when you press R three N to use your focus, you have to hold it in to actually be able to tag monsters and like see like their vital points and like register it to your database. I don't do all that. I just shoot shit. Oh okay. Well, I don't, well you have to do that for the platinum too. You have to register each uh -huh. monster. Yeah. Into your database, That's and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like packing, I'm like pressing R three because I'm like, why isn't it focusing? And it's it kind of like a, one of those things where like you hit R three once, and then it kind of shows you a little like, um, what do you call it, like, like a scanner, like yeah, if it like, like a bubble you're talking about, what's that? No, not no, not that. I didn't get that shield, but um, no, it's kind of like a you guys play Days Gone, right? Or it's kind of like an echo thing where like you you hit it and then it kind of goes out from like your character oh, like a radar kind of kind of yeah 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 i did not like that i wish those were like separate buttons the, but um but yeah no i, yeah, I they well, got that in like assassin's creed and witcher I think. yeah yeah so but i'm gonna try to play through that try to get through as much as i can before Zelda so, comes out so yeah how far do you think you are in it so far eight hours okay do you think you've played enough to like give it a ranking in terms of like stacking it up where you would have stacked it if you'd played? It's a good question. Year? It's a good question. No, not yet. Um, I'm I'm really not into the story as much. I, I'm still like relatively early in the game, but I'm not sure if I like it more than Zero Dawn. Mm. But and, and, I look at my other rankings, but I don't know if it would pass God of War or um, Elden Ring. It probably won't pass Elden Ring. It, I'm a from software simp. Yeah, but um, it would probably pass. I think your five was Dying Light too. So oh I mean, yeah, it'll pass that. Like that so. Yeah, it'll pass that. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. I gotta play a few straight again. I gotta finish straight. Okay. But um, I think that was in my top five too. So mm -hmm. but yeah, more to come. But just a little bit of what I've been playing. I've been playing some more research game. That's I'm going to be the platinum at that too. It's pretty dumb. Okay. But that's it.
Yeah. Yeah, I haven't really played a whole lot right now. I'm kind of on a downswing right now in terms of that stuff. I've been a little bit... Uh, I'm on... I know we talked about it on one of our previous episodes, yeah. like when you get that burnout a little bit. It's like one of those, like, I come home from work and it's like at 7 p.m. and I'm like... I just kind of want to turn my brain off and just watch something or just do something else. <laughs> well, well, yeah, just to but, piggyback off of that and, point. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, you know, I'm the same way. Where I'm like, I go to work, I, I make dinner, get dinner or whatever. Yeah. A lot of times I just want to be watching things stupid, like yeah. a TV show. We had the playoffs going on for the NBA and NHL. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. we had the football, the dress coming up this, this weekend. So it's like that kind of stuff you can kind of just like... Yeah, that's you don't hard. think too hard. Yeah, it's hard to get like into a single player game when you know yeah. you only got like an hour you can sit right. down and fucking play, you know? Right. And you guys are single. I'm fucking married. Literally. So it's even like worse. <laughs> but yeah. um but yeah, we all we all have our pets and stuff too. And yeah. a lot of times like work's always can be very stressful and yeah. you see it. So I, I don't understand what you mean, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd like to finish off Harry Potter. I'm still yeah, I can do that finishing too. that off. Like I think I'm over halfway through it. Um, and then I want to do Resident Evil 4. I said I was going to stream yeah, it, and I never got that? around to streaming it. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. yeah, just have other other entertainment things that are going on, too. Like, I've been reading that book, and then uh, playing 2K, NBA 2K, and I played a little bit of the show, too, MLB 23 yeah. show. Well, that's, that's like the type of game that's good to play when you ain't got, like, a lot of time, too. Yeah. You can just jump in and play a little bit of franchise and... I was trying to keep your brain off. Well, I was trying to do that with NHL. I downloaded NHL with the vault. Yeah. Um, and then after like a season, I'm like, yeah, I don't know any of these players actually. I just know like, yeah, I'm like, this is, I just can't get into it. And then Madden, I was playing that for a little bit. Yeah. And I'm not like you. Like, I know like you get really into it. Yeah. But like, for me, it's like after you start getting like the, you know, the computer though. generated characters. Well, the thing I hate like, about Madden franchise is like it ends after like 25 years. And like if you're yeah. just kind of trying to like sim through shit. It's like, I want to get to, like, when the pig players are there. But then once they come around, you can't even get through a whole career of those guys. Yeah. It's only 25 seasons. Yeah, Madden is a little bit behind the other sports franchises. Because 2K has got, like, 80 years. And you get to do setting the game plans and everything just how you want. And yeah. Like, Madden, yeah, you can choose game plans. But you can't, like, set, like, I want to run the ball. Well, this yeah, percentage, I like. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'll get, like, these stud, like, I'll get, like, three 99 receivers and, like, a 99 quarterback, and they're fucking running with some turd running back. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, why are you running, like, fucking 350 times a game or 350 times a season and then passing fucking, like, yeah. only 400? Yeah, and they used to have that where you like, could, like, time. set the percentage that you want yeah, to do. Well, it's also realistic, unrealistic, too, because you'll have that turd running back, and then you send the season... He's got like nine or ten touchdowns, and you're like, "What?" Yeah. And then oh, you're yeah. still, he gets yeah. all the rewards. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. Like, what? Like, 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 huh? Yeah. So, yeah. Bullshit. but hey, that's the difference between Take Two and you know EA. So, but I mean, playing two K with you guys, you know how much you can do in a season mm-hmm. is so drastically different than what you can do in EA NHL or EA Madden. Who do you guys think is going to be the highest rated rookie on offense for Madden next season? Probably. We got the NFL draft <laughs> coming up here in a couple days. Either so good time to ask. Whoever the number one overall pick is. The quarterbacks are usually rated low, in my opinion, in Madden. So it's either be Bijan or um, Bijan Robinson, Bijan. Uh, or um, either Will Anderson or Tyree Williams. Well, or Wilson. Play, Tyree Wilson. Uh, what did you say? I said offense play though. Oh, yeah, okay, then Bijan. Okay, yeah, Bijan. That's what I was trying to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my yeah. pass. It's going to be Yeah, it's going to be Bijan. But, um... But yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens next year, but it's probably the same shit. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a on that. In terms of news, I guess we can move on to that. Unless you have a game you wanted to talk about. Overwatch, yeah. Fallout, I name all of them to show. Oh, yeah, you've been playing Fallout 4. I've been walking kind of been in a rut like you, Scott, where yeah. my thing is I just play Overwatch when I'm in like a rut. Yeah. Like when I only got like an hour or two to play, I'll just hop on Overwatch, play a few games of that. But. But yeah, I was trying to get back in the fallout, but I can only do that on the weekends. I can't do that on the weekends. Yeah, do, you, so. do you guys think it's like a type of year where it's normally get burnout? Or do you think it's just, you're just, 
like what I'm trying to say is, do you think it's like cyclical in terms of like around this time? Do you feel you get burnt out more because it's okay, nice out and shit. it's getting nicer out? There's more yeah. stuff to do around the house. You're done being in the winter of you know not being able to do anything really. Yeah. Or yeah, do you think it's just something to that? Yeah. Do you think it's something to that, or do you think it's just? Well, it's a lot easier to play too when it's like dark out at five, five o'clock at yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. It's like like, funny like, like, like for me, like the past couple months have been like heavy on like family stuff, like birthdays and anniversaries. So like for me, like when I want to sit down and play on a weekend, I really can't yeah. because that's something that I'm obligated to do. And you talk about single player games where you want to have X amount of time to be able to get kind of get through it and enjoy yeah. it. But if you have to give an hour before you have to leave, what's the point of even booting up a campaign? Right. Yeah. So that's how. So yeah. I, I agree with that too. I think it's kind of cyclical and around this mm-hmm. time of year that I just, and especially in the summertime too, I don't really play as much as I probably should. But then once fall comes around, then I'm back to playing. Right. So it's funny how that works. So. Yeah, I think in June is when it starts picking up again because that's when all of your events, even though there's no E3 this year, like you start getting the press conferences and people start getting excited. Seems like there's always like a big game in like May now too. Yeah. I mean Zelda this year, obviously. But... What was last year? <clears throat> um, last year. I don't know. But what? I just know there's yeah. been a lot like Horizon, like first Horizon was in May. I don't know if last year was in May. I don't think so. And the but... first one was in February. First one was in February. Yeah, because it came out right before Zelda came out for a little while. Zelda was in May. Shut up. No. No. I'm getting all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. So, all right, want to get into your news, Eric? Your, uh, or your, um, should we get into our main topic? Yeah, I think. I don't know news. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. yeah, we said, yeah, it was a light news the last two weeks. Well, the only news I had was the, um. Jedi? What about Jedi really quick? Oh, Jedi. Jedi. Yes. Um, yeah, Jedi That's comes right. out. I don't want to lead off on. Well, well, the other news I wanted to mention real quick. Well, no, go, go, go ahead with Jedi. I'll say Anybody that. interested? Jedi's drop, Jedi Survivor's dropping um, this Friday, yeah. 28th of April. Um, anybody, I can't, I'm not picking it up day one because I'm going on vacation, yeah. but. Um, Same here. I'm not going to get it day one, but I'll probably eventually want to play it. Cause, I will want to play it too. And that's what I did with the first game too. I didn't play it at first, but then I picked it up like a year or so later and I enjoyed it. The Island comes out this week too, doesn't it? I think it's already. I think it's already out. Yeah. 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 It's out. I got yeah. good reviews too. I, I heard or I read. It, I think you got decent reviews. Oh. Yeah, for for, for what it was. Yeah, it, I think that people liked it. <clears throat> so is what I heard. Well, I've been seeing a lot of buzz online for it. So. Well, so you, I remember when I lived here, you bought Jedi Fallen Order Day One. Mm-hmm. Are you interested at interested at all in Jedi Survivor? Not really. And I'm why not? I it when it's like twenty dollars or something. But. Why not? Did you, did you not I, like I, Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah, it was it too much like Dark Souls? Didn't and... click with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, was, I didn't get that into the combat, and I, don't know, I just felt like I was walking in a line. I didn't like get super into the story, but I don't know. Okay, interesting. I thought the story was kind of boring. It was just combat wasn't like anything crazy. Oh, maybe I didn't get far enough into the game, but <laughs> I was gonna say I thought because you didn't like the Dark Soulsy combat. I know they kind of. I just didn't like the map. I thought the map yeah, was the fucking was stupid. But yeah, and it was just straight line walking. Like everything was, it wasn't open world like at all, was it? it no, uh, there was maps to it, I but yeah, the they pretty much told you where to go. I, I mean, stuff would be blocked off that you couldn't get to yet, and then you could backtrack later on to get to the stuff. But. So sort of like God of War in terms of that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because the different planets had their own, like, little maps, but then they would filter you to where you're supposed to be at this time, and then you'll come back later and open up some place because you have a new power or yeah. something. But I don't know. I was thinking it was... I do have one more <laughs> thing before we get into our main topic. I did boot up Doom Eternal oh, from, yes. like, 2020. Cause I remember I, bought... I downloaded it the other day. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Because it's, a... it's free oh, on it's PlayStation yeah. Plus, and I bought it day one. Cause I remember... It was me and you going to GameStop, and that was right before COVID, like, shut down everything. Yeah. But then Animal Crossing took all my time away, and then I just never played it. <clears throat> but the multiplayer is dead, so if you do play it, don't even think about doing the multiplayer, because it was, yeah. it, it's dead. Me and Jared tried playing it, <clears throat> and we had no hits in, like, a half hour. Wow. So, uh, and it's only a three-person match, too. It's not like you have to have, like, a lobby of, like, 10 to 12 people. What, you got some kind yeah. of trophies? You got some trophies? Jared does, but right. we were just like, hey, do you want to, he's like, why are you playing Doom? And I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just on the menu. 
do you, do you want to play or I'm like okay and yeah there was nothing so we, we used to play a little bit back in 2020 but um just anybody know that yeah, multiplayer is officially done on that game. yeah i never played the multiplayer, right, multiplayer. Yeah. i beat the campaign though and i enjoyed it a lot. i can't get past a certain part so i threw a controller and i i did have this. to turn it down to easy mode and i actually that made it a lot more fun because then i felt like i was in sync with the like combat of the game and it felt a lot more fun because i did that too like i started getting stuck at a certain point and i was just like you know what? I'm just gonna suck it up and I have too much pride. Turn it down. I have too yeah. much pride to go to easy mode. I, I, yeah. I quit games before I go to easy mode. Yeah. Well, Jared's the opposite. Now Jared will start games on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. And he he won't. What he tells me is that he won't beat a game unless he's beating it on hard. Yeah, like I won't beat it unless I'm beating it on normal or higher. Like I don't. I refuse to go to easy. I'm like you, Scott. I'll if yeah. I have to turn it easy. Yeah, I'll go to the store as well. And it made it more fun for me. That's like the the only game I've done that for so far, but for Doom Eternal, it worked. So, yeah. So, I'm not good with first person games as much, like first person shooters. But it can be a little bit difficult. Yeah. It feels yeah. like I'm not playing when I'm in easy mode. Yeah. I guess I can nothing to it. Yeah, I guess you can say that. So, all right, go ahead, Eric. All right. Or right, Scott, whoever. Well, the one news yeah, you know, I news. wanted to say before we started this conversation was. Uh, Exclusive for Xbox. The vampire game. Oh, Redfall. Yeah, Redfall mm -hmm. got announced that it was coming out at 30 frames a second. Ooh. Yeah. And they said they're going to patch it in later with the performance mode that would allow 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wrong. So, Xbox is the most powerful console of all time. But the last it's gen of this. Xbox was capable of getting 60 frames per second. But then we got the most powerful well, and they well, can't even get it at 60 frames Xbox per second. Xbox One X probably. Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's last gen. Right, the last part of last gen. I think like the original Xbox One probably. But it is weird because it's like you're saying, because what they're saying is we're going to release it with 30 frames per second 4K support. Because it said 4K. I don't know that it will actually be 4K if it's that 30 frames per second. But but then you're saying you can't just, like, tweak your graph. Like, that seems like it wouldn't take that long. Like, a person could go in and spend a couple hours and tweak graphics to make them work perfectly on well, PC. You should be able to do that to just, say, tone down the graphics and do it at 1080p and get it... Well, I agree. Like, if you second, can't right? optimize your game enough to get a 4K <clears throat> 60 frames per second, and it's a shooter, an online shooter, you should be getting the 60 frames 1080. Like, people want their shooters to be 60 frames per second. Like, this isn't this isn't like you know, yeah. 2015. I like, mean, you gotta get these shooters at 20 it, 60 frames a second. <laughs> see, days. for me, I don't mind if a game isn't at 60 frames per second. I actually. Like, I'm fine with the 30 frame per second game. Mm. Especially if it's a single player game. It's like, why do you need it to be... Like, movies See, are not... movies are filmed at, like, 24 frames per second. And that's the standard. Even for, like, modern movies. See, yeah, I'm the opposite. Like, I don't care if it's a 4K, to be honest with you. I'd rather it be, like, 1440, 60 frames per second. Because I just think that looks so much smoother for, like, video games. In terms of like graphics, I don't know about you, Brad. I don't know. No, you no usually play on. I always I'm usually on performance. I always change the performance. Yeah. I, I never it just do. looks smoother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get stuttering and shit whenever you get down. To the first thing I do. Well, yeah, that's the, the thing though. Is as long as you can keep it a consistent thirty, like it's not gonna like for me. It doesn't really like. I don't know. I can see. Bad. I can see it with my eyes, but because I mean, movies seem to be fine. Yeah, but, those movies. That's like. I mean, you're that. still, it's a visual thing going on, like, but then my, my crazy hot take would be, like, that games should cap their frames per second at the highest that you can keep it at stable. Like, don't allow, especially if it's a multiplayer game, like, they should just be, like, the game will not run past this amount of frames per second. Maybe you say it's 60 but, like, I think you could even come down a little bit lower than 60, well, you're, talk, you're talking in terms of, like, everybody? Like, yeah, so if someone like, has, like, a really even strong on, like, PC? PC? Yeah, because then you can have multi 
platform, like, then you don't have the Xbox users that are like, oh, this guy's on this PC See, getting I, a couple more frames out than I am, and that's... I disagree. Like, if, people, field. if people made a bad decision to buy an Xbox and their console <laughs> can't handle, you know, 120 frames a second like these guys who paid thousands of dollars for these PCs, I don't think the guys on the PC should be hampered by it. I don't know about you, Brett. Like, if they paid two thousand dollars to get a PC, they shouldn't get punished for Xbox <laughs> underperforming. Right. That's that actually is. A, you have a good point. Yeah, you have a good point. I can't so, agree with that. But then again, the Xbox isn't two thousand dollars for a reason, so you're paying for what you get. It's yeah, five hundred bucks. That's, that's, that's still the guys who bought it though. Like, I don't think you should punish PC players for. A lot. They, they dished out two thousand dollars. They want to get those high frames. Like they don't want. Xbox players holding them back, right. you know? But, well, in tournament plays, though, I think to Maybe make an out. even playing field. But, yeah, yeah I guess if you want to say that's a way of pay to win, like, I mean, yeah, it kinda is, I mean. To, for multiplayer games, but for single player, I can see, yeah, I just want to freaking buy the most powerful machine possible. But that's my point with, like, Shooters is like you gotta get those games up to sixty frames. It makes it makes a difference. Game yeah. otherwise, like. Well, I did hear the the PC. They said it's not capped at the thirty for, for Redfall specifically. They said that if you have a powerful enough PC, you can get it up to sixty. But it's gonna be at that four K. So you have to have a really powerful PC. Yeah, so. Which is weird because usually computer games have graphic setting like very customizable graphic settings where you can just say i want to play this on mm -hmm. well like you can set the anti-aliasing you can set all these like crazy settings yeah, well, that's, yeah very that's fine fine. <laughs> but that uh, but that news is kind of what brings us to our main topic okay which is well, well, all that hate. Topic. Oh, well, topic. you're the host. I thought okay. you were going to throw it in. Okay, there. okay so Eric says, um, why is say Xbox getting all the hate? So, yeah, Xbox this, has been getting yeah. a lot of hate, it seems like, recently. I mean, a lot of games coming out. Everyone's been hyping up all these games. Like, oh, we got Redfall coming. We got yada yada coming. We got this coming, that coming. And every time they come out, there's some people are complaining about. We got 30 frames a second. We got, we got, uh, you know, yeah. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll go ahead. So Halo, like, it didn't release with co-op, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it got delayed, like, And their multiplayer times. came out with, like, six maps. But there's, yeah. al there's always some kind of issue with all these games coming out. Yeah. All these exclusives that people keep hyping up. And uh, it just seems like people aren't enjoying them. And I kind of had some stats here that I wanted to bring right. up. Okay. So, oh, I, I like my numbers. Because a lot of people like to argue, oh, no, people love these Xbox games. You know, they play the heck out of them. We love them. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I got a few stats here. So, you, I asked you earlier what you thought, like, some of the bigger exclusives were for you guys. And okay. So, I kind of looked up some numbers on these ones. So, we got Hi-Fi Rush here. Mm-hmm. We got the, the main achievement to beat the game, which, how long did it take to beat that game, actually? Uh, it was about 12 hours. So, this is about a 12-hour achievement. Yeah. <laughs> so, 12% of gamers had that achievement done. Okay. So, keep kind of so I, can, I can tell you, I think part of that is, and I don't know that this is true, so... Well, my, that's true. No, no, but, no, no, your oh, okay. stat is true, but okay. I, my opinion here that I'm going to say, I don't know if it's factual oh, okay. or not, but I think that anybody who has, like, a Game Pass subscription, like, is going to be included in that, like, well, percentage out of it. Well, I don't know if they have to have just download no, it. No, I think you have to boot it up. Yeah, boot it up. It, 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 up. it has yeah. to be booted up at least one time for uh -huh. you to be You got to play it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that was 12%, but I'm just okay. going to fire through because I had like four different games I went through. Okay. So I'm just going to fire through all of them here real quick. So we got Psychonauts 2, 13% of people have played okay. the final achievement I, for that. I got that one. Then we got... I got both of those. This one was shocking to me because I thought this one would have been higher for sure, but we got Halo Infinite at 9.8% completion. <laughs> okay. And then we got Ori at 13%. Okay. So that's a pretty low average, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know what the like the PlayStation numbers are at. I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to find them. Yeah, because these okay. are just to yeah, complete just the game. Give a couple of the it's, PlayStation. These numbers. are all like main mission yeah. trophies here <clears> or achievements, but I just wanted to like look up those numbers because people keep saying like they're loving these games. They're loving these games. I mean, I can install those. And then people really? look up like the sales numbers, and the sales numbers are so bad. So then they're like, oh well, it's actually Xbox Game Pass that they're getting them on. So I'm like, okay, well let's look something else up. How about we look up the achievements? And 13% is really low. I mean, especially for games that take 12 hours to beat. Like, that's my whole thing. That's my argument for it. I mean, yeah, may, maybe the hate's not justified for Xbox, you know, but... Yeah, I mean, I think that's... That is... I just think that's, like, a strange a thing that... Yeah, because, like, I don't think that these games are bad. Like, I actually like some of these I games. I mean, they do review really because, well. Because, yeah, they... I mean, critically, they review well, but, I mean, personally, like, I think that the gameplay mechanics are unique, and they're a little bit different than what you get out of, like, a typical PlayStation first-party game, where, mm -hmm. like, so you have, like, with Psychonauts, you've got, like, a platforming game that, like, you don't see those that often anymore, like, oh, one I didn't mention, Age Empires 4, oh, was, yeah, like, cool. uh... <clears throat> that's an RTS, and you never see those anymore. That one probably is pretty low too. Well, yeah, but, but a lot those of are don't, like a lot of people campaigns. Play the campaigns on yeah, those, uh, like I, I'll play like those RTSs, and I never <clears> touch campaigns. And then yeah, High Fire Rush is another one where it's like, oh, it's another like platform type of game. But then Halo is supposed to be the flagship, so that one's probably that the one most was the most because that was the lowest one. That, that was, was the nine percent. I was like, really? That's fucking yeah. crazy. Like I, I know a lot of people play multiplayer, <clears throat> but like there still is a decent campaign there. Like yeah, I thought not? the campaign was a little more fun than the so, multiplayer. I have a game here. As you guys are still talking, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Horizon Forbidden West, any trophy? Guess how much percentage was completed? The final trophy, uh, not the platinum, just to beat the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd say isn't probably twenty seven percent. A little bit higher, thirty percent. Oh yeah. Okay. That's, I, that's a long game too. Okay, so here's what I think I saw one time though it was with PlayStation. I think that, like by default, people's trophy stats are hidden, and there's something where, like. Or there is something on PlayStation where you can set your stats to be hidden and then it doesn't take it into account into the total, like, calculation. There was something I was reading one time where, like, for Microsoft, it's just, like, everybody if you just boot it up once. But then on PlayStation, like, it's well, not necessarily the taking the entire population of players into account, but... I'm not sure on that. I could that's just a rumor. Right. That's like a guess. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, confirmed, though. Um, let me see. Like, I know Elden Ring was pretty high, too, but um, it was really high. I'm not finding anything on it. For doing a secret, well, that's not extremely, technically an ending. I guess it is, but um, I'm going to God of War Ragnarok. Look up God of War the yeah, first one, because yeah. Ragnarok's not been out like that long. Um, well, it's been out since last year. Like mm -hmm. people, we were gonna play it. So. I mean, it's been out longer than I thought you were So the any trophy for God of War Ragnarok, forty five percent. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's very. Um, you can yeah. find the one for. But yeah, the people who are playing it are playing it like. Yeah, I don't know how to bring that shit up. They're, they're like finishing it. I'm just looking at my trophy <laughs> I think list. part of that is the games. PlayStation's trophy system, I think, is better than Xbox's like, achievement system. Oh, like, for sure. Because you get something no really cool to strive for mm -hmm. for completionist, whereas in Xbox you it's just, score. good job. Yeah, you, you get a score that says, good job, you completed it. Yeah, you get something. Like, there's cool. nothing. You yeah. like a fucking... Gold, yeah, like G coin or something. Yeah, like I can go into the, the profile and see. Okay, I one hundred percent of this gold game, G coins I got over here. Yeah. <laughs> fucking sweet. yeah, but it doesn't even like separate like what games the scores were from you playing. Right. So this is just for the Last of Us, the first one. I'm gonna do God of War next, okay. and it's just being the game on normal. Twenty nine percent. That's kind of surprisingly low, but 
Still though, it's but, a lot higher than Well, Xbox that's Xbox. probably the remastered too, so. It is a remastered, you're correct. So it's that, in the PS3 version. Uh, yeah, they have so many versions of that game too, yeah. so it's hard to like get real numbers on that game. Great. Let me find them. I'm trying to look for God of War 2018. Uh, did I even? Let me back down here. Give me a second. Did he even play it? No, I did play it. I said be in here somewhere. I need the fucks. You liar. Was it 2018, 2019? Can't you just log up God of War? No, I'm looking at like because it would show. I can't find a good website quick enough to like find the God of War number. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying to find my channel on PlayStation. I found them somehow. Um, mine's gonna be a lot quicker, but what the hell is it? Yeah, like I think I looked that. like at the Elden Ring, and like between Xbox and PlayStation, and PlayStation's <laughs> like percentages were way higher on Elden mm-hmm. Ring too. And that's a multi-platform game, but like <clears throat> there was, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was <clears throat> oddly like low for. Especially it is, yeah, I think, yeah, the, it definitely is something, like, think about. I'm sure that there might be something to that where people just aren't like, playing in these games. Well, well that's what I was as wondering, because, like, Brett mentioned earlier in the week that, like, somebody tweeted, I guess it's some reputable source, but he tweeted mm-hmm. that, uh, like, Microsoft management wasn't, like happy with how things were going. I wonder oh, if that's kind of what this was. Uh, at. Yeah. So on a, there was somebody who tweeted because they were green they were taking Jeff Grubb. They were Jeff taking Grubb. yeah a podcast that Jeff Grubb was on, who I think is a part of Giant Bomb, mm-hmm. um, and they took his words because he did. He mentioned he was like, oh, Hi Fi Rush didn't do as well as. Xbox wanted it to and he is a known reporter like and they're like oh well he must have had some kind of source that was telling him that and then later on Jeff Grubb was like well I shouldn't have said needed to do he said Hi-Fi Rush still like was a good game it did well I wonder if that's like kind of like the numbers and then Aaron Greenberg came out afterwards and like Microsoft like spokesperson came out and was like, Hey no, our games are doing great. Like this game did exactly what we wanted it to do and so like well, you've got that guy it, saying so. that everything was good and they're happy with it. Everything's um, you ever seen that meme with But the my now my thing is though you can't coffee. say like that a game especially with with Xbox because their whole business plan is based on subscriptions to Game Pass. Mm-hmm. So naturally your sales of the video games are going to be down because you can play these games day one. On yeah, game but did, they, did they say that's sales those, numbers though? Or are they, I mean, or that's what it sounded like to me. It was it's like come about dollars of the just, revenue of the game. Yeah, uh, with the game revenue. Actually, yeah, and they weren't happy. They exactly supposedly, well. they weren't happy with it. Which is weird i don't know how they expect to sell any especially when you shadow drop a game it's like why you're if you really were expecting this game to sell like really well like you would have i don't know how they would expect that to sell well like but no marketing i didn't know it came out no marketing until scott mentioned it no one's gonna go out and buy that game when you didn't even advertise for it yeah but so it definitely kind of surprised me to hear that they were unhappy with it but I mean, the thing I think where Microsoft might be a little bit concerned is with actual console sales, because that I saw, like, I think it was on Game Informer I read recently, where, like, their console sales were down, like, 12% or something, um, which this early on in the console generation cycle is pretty, like, weird to see a decline. Like, they should still be increasing. Well, I think part of the problem might be that they're, like, not actually making any Xbox exclusive games. Like, they're all going to PC immediately. So, if they really want to get the console sales up... Yeah, because everything's on PC or Xbox, and so... Yeah. It could be part of it. I have a number for God of War. To finish a game, 47.5% of players... So, half the people that played God of War... Have beaten yeah. the game. That's, mm. that's pretty fucking good. Um, I, I think you think that two ways. One, PlayStation games are just better. Um, mm. and, I mean, I don't think that's even debatable, honestly. Um, that they're just better produced, better made, more critically acclaimed. I think that's just an objective fact. Well, well um, I think it's objective to say, I don't know if it's objective to say they're better. It's objective to say that uh, 
people are enjoying them more because they're beating them more. Yeah, I mean, maybe Microsoft needs to put out, like, like, maybe they need to be in control of their studios more because right now the studios, like, Microsoft and props to them, they're kind of letting these developers do whatever they want to do and make these crazy games Mm -hmm. because I think these developers are like, oh, I want to make this crazy game, like, with these mechanics kind of like an indie type of game Mm -hmm. and they're kind of letting them these developers do that and break into like a smaller team and be like okay you can have a couple people and do your like but then playstation's like no this studio you're gonna be making this game and you're making this big game that we want you to release and i feel like people might have gotten their hopes up a little too high when they bought all these developers too because a lot of them were a lot of them are smaller yeah a lot of them weren't like real big developers Right, but they kind of got like a they wanted overhyped. quantity on their game. They wanted the old games that these developers had made on their system. So yeah. you have a bunch of older games on the Game Pass that were pretty good, but they never were like triple A. And then now they tried to get in a big, really big publisher and Activision Blizzard, and they're having a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Like and Bethesda, they haven't put anything out because they've been taking forever on Starfield. Well, I Bethesda, I mean, yeah, really I think so. But yeah, but they like development cycle on these Microsoft games seems to be a lot longer too, which is another thing with like I think Microsoft just like once these p- developers got purchased, they're like, oh, we're kind of stable financially now. We can take our time on these games. Mm-hmm. And so now the games aren't coming at the pace that Microsoft thought they would. So but yeah. you don't want to crunch these developers either and then say, oh, our workplace is in a bad spot too. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just a thing where, I don't know. The whole COVID situation probably didn't help either. I mean, people weren't working no, for a while didn't. or something. Yeah. So hopefully there will be, I mean, there's a bunch of games on the horizon, but that's what we've been saying the last couple of years. So. Like Horizon 3 might be in development. Oh. So, uh, but, um, no, I mean, I, I think, I mean, as I said about Microsoft's game consoles going down at 12%, mm-hmm. but I also saw that Sony, the PlayStation 5 in Japan, has surpassed the switch in terms of like monthly sales or whatever really? so the PlayStation 5 is actually outselling the switch right now in japan which we all know obviously besides north america that's like one of the big hotbeds in the world yeah. obviously even in your Euro- in europe you know consoles sell pretty good but obviously it's not going to beat sony but but the point of my story is that i think we talked about this before on a previous games cast where microsoft was trying to really push into that Japanese market mm-hmm. and it's like it's going to be a fail there and I mean it's, it's a hard market breakthrough J- Japanese culture is you know it's it's different than here a lot of people don't try new things over there doesn't Xbox but, do really good in Europe um, I don't think they do better than no I think they did better in North America than they do in uh, Europe really? that's more of a Sony thing I think that's why Jim Ryan became the head of PlayStation because he was in charge of Europe for SCI and they were just they blew off the market in terms of um, the competition. Obviously, in North America is different because Microsoft is a, is a bigger brand in North America. Okay. And Xbox, when it launched, it, it was launched as kind of like the cool console, yeah. right? But I mean, I'm I, I'm digressing here, but I guess my point is is that I feel like Microsoft really needs to, I don't know. It's like they're being too hands off, right? And even when they're hands on, we saw some of the games that mm-hmm. were kind of like. Oh really? Like, I think they show games a lot early than they really need to. Case in point, Halo Infinite, where we got that whole meme thing with they, that, yeah. um, that one creature. Whereas, yeah. you can argue that Sony is playing too close to the fe- to the vest, and then we're all sitting here thinking, well, when's the next showcase going to be? What's so Microsoft, what's Sony working on? Whereas you're having special directs from Place uh, Microsoft. Hey, here's this game. It might not be coming out until later this year or next year, but here's a thing on it. And it gets people hyped about it. So, yeah. And it, then it gets delayed for another year. Yeah. That's where people get are, are getting frustrated, too. But it's not going to matter, though. Now we, start, look at Starfield, right. though. You know what I'm saying? Just right. not to talk, talk over I you, but... I Starfield. No, you uh, but, yeah, like, you know, oh, let's show all this Starfield, get people hyped, like mm-hmm. you, like, like Eric. I guess I'm a little bit hyped, too. No, I don't have a PC. Um, I might even build, like I mentioned before, I might even build a PC just to play Starfield. But I just because I, mean, I like Bethesda games, but um, it's like they keep on delaying it, and then you're kind of like, 
That doesn't change yeah. anything because you're still gonna buy it day one. Right. You're not gonna. That's not gonna change anything. Or I'll just play it Game Pass too. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I have a, I have a Game Pass subscription oh, sitting in my inbox for like a year or something. I forget what it is, uh, and I plan to use that for to buy the game. But that's what hurt. That's gonna hurt game sales, obviously. Mm -hmm. And to your point about the developers want to try new things, I guess I come from the opposite where if you're making a lot of money and you're hitting bonuses and you're seeing the success of your thing that you've made with your bare hands get critically acclaimed, like why not keep on making it? Like maybe you don't want to try new yeah. things. Because again, it's all about why do we work? To make money, to support our lifestyle. Yeah. You know? So if you're making a lot of money, I guess if you you know enjoy what you're doing, you don't see the way people yeah. leave. So, I think where my theory was coming in just from watching some interview, like even with like the guy who made that game Obsidian put up last put out last year called Pentiment. It's like this little two D like side scrolling game, mm -hmm. and it's like Obsidian. They put out Outer Worlds. They did then Grounded, which was another thing, and then this developer he was like. Yeah, I was sick of making RPGs. I was burnt out on it. And I asked them, can I, like, make this weird project that I want to? Like, just give me a small team, and then we'll punch out this weird, like, Pentiment game. Was, this, was Obsidian was like, the developer? Who's, isn't there supposed to be some kind of, like, uh, Elder Scrolls yeah, that are coming out? About, yeah, about, yeah. Yeah, they have that. that. Guy asked a couple of years ago, and right? they've announced Outer Worlds too, as well. So they they have like all these games that they've announced, and then it's like, oh, but then in the meantime, we're gonna finally push out the final update to ground it. We're gonna do this Pentiment game. Yeah, and just, and so yeah. got a lot of their play right now. Huh? Yeah, a they, lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot with these developers, and then you had Fable got announced before, like. Forza Horizon 5 came out like it's like and it's like of course Playground's gonna be working on Forza Horizon 5 like why are we announcing Fable and now we haven't heard anything on Fable for like three years so people are like yeah I feel like all what is going on three years yeah all, yeah so, also what was that one game uh Perfect Dark Zero we all oh, for that oh for initiative yeah, yeah and then yeah, yeah. the game uh, so that you're hyping up Scott whenever they were being creative remember we had like a huge conversation yeah, about no, that yeah no, nothing about that so they oh get people hyped and then we're just gonna push underneath the rug because we know this game that's coming out for the next three or four years yeah, yeah. like that's you know yeah they just tease like some big trailer like oh and then people are like ooh Perfect Dark is getting rebooted and then yeah you don't hear yeah, and I mean then, they announced um, like a lot of these games like it's yeah. really back on the console got released yeah Hellblade like 2 yeah and, Hellblade 2 yeah. is like the first game that they announced for Xbox Series X and it still isn't out yet like that was the first yeah. uh, I mean like a PlayStation <laughs> I think the PlayStation 5 is on track to pass the lifetime sales of the PlayStation 4 eventually like PlayStation 4 that almost tons of people bought huge sales whatever won the generation and now the PS5 is potentially going to yeah. eclipse that so there's two different approaches and I think Microsoft's always going to be coming in second, but it's in terms of the console, so that's yeah. the games are always going to be second. I, I, I don't, don't, yeah, I don't like when games get like announced years in advance. Like Nintendo yeah. never does that, like except for I mean Zelda kind of did get announced yeah. kind of early, but everyone knew that was coming. But yeah, yeah, and then now Bethesda, like it, the biggest thing, worst one was Bethesda TZ and Elder Scrolls 6. Like, I know they didn't, like, show anything except for a title, like, hey, we're gonna work on this, but then God, they like, teased that at the same time as Starfield. He was hyping it up like it was coming in the next two or three years or something. I remember that. Was that. So, that was so long ago. <laughs> I remember you guys were texting me about it. Be, like, five years Yeah, like, that was, yeah. like, that was so long ago, it was, like, when E3 <laughs> was still around. Okay. I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm gonna have, like, <laughs> like toddlers, like, kids by the time that game comes out. Yeah. Like, it's... And, like, if you looked, because in my trivia, I was giving you the Elder Scrolls, like, the timelines between, like, Elder Scrolls 3, 4, and 5 yeah. were, like, three years between it. Or, I mean, well, now you were doing Fallouts in between those. Now we're at, like, 13 years. And now it's, like, yeah, since 2011 was the last Elder Scrolls so game, which was insanely, years. insanely successful. Like, how has it yeah. taken them, uh, like... Yeah. Like it's all. Yeah, I think part of it. Uh, well, yeah. it's Todd Howard. Well, it's Venomax <coughs> that fucking. They did. Which is still the parent company of Bethesda. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. 
Maybe that has something to do with it. Who knows? Maybe. Trends that, you know, be on lookout for. But, yeah, game development is way so... We talked about this recently. I felt like only because I'm a games cast where development time is such a long time in between these games. It's like... I forgot anything that happened in Horizon Zero Dawn. Coming to forbi- playing yeah. Forbidden, because I know who Aloy is, I know who like some of these characters are. But it was such a long time. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, you get you don't want to crunch those developers, so it's a good thing that they get to like make the games good and make them great. But also, games being good doesn't equal games being massive. You still have games that are smaller that get have a good story, good yeah. characters that we can yeah. relate to. Yeah. And I, I really prefer a smaller, more linear game than, God, another RPG open world being go anywhere, like... Yeah, it's, I, like, it's like you only need, like, a huge, like, really good open world RPG, like, every two or three years, like... Yeah. Overall, the developers, I mean, like, you don't need one, like, yeah. twice a year. <laughs> right. Too many people try to make these fucking huge Although, open Although, but that's what we're saying, Xbox hasn't put out, like, a big game and like so long yeah. it's like they're putting out a bunch of little games but people aren't playing those so so what side are you on the beginning of this conversation you said what side am i on am i on hey xbox well, uh, that was just to kind of uh do a little teaser but i think people probably kind of figured it out by now so no i, I, I think it's pretty clear which side i'm on i think competition's good but it's just like i'm supposed to Sick of people hyping up these games that haven't even been out yet. Well, like, I mean, I'm not on the side, to be honest, because I have a fucking PC, I have a PlayStation, I have a Switch. You I'm not on any side. Yeah. Like, I'm just stating the facts. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to talk like I'm on a side here. I'm just stating facts. Oh, okay. He's just a. St- he's stating. Yeah. He's stating I'm facts. Man. The he's, status he's, stat man. Man. he's bringing facts and he's stating <laughs> stats. So that's right. <laughs> Okay, good conversation. Yeah, it's probably about time to wrap up yeah, this episode. Yeah, I could, a long one. Yeah, I could, yeah, it brings up another topic that maybe Our we'll episode about for next episode. Yeah. He's got a big topic next episode. That's guys. right. All right. Okay. A little teaser there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked this episode, go ahead and push that like button on the video on YouTube and subscribe to our content if you want more. So yeah, let us know if that page justified. <laughs> and, let, and let us know, Colin, how you do that trivia because I didn't yeah. suck this week. But <laughs> some of these questions are like crazy. They're well, easy as fuck. I gave you like how many, five the, the, the map one. Something. No, it was a map one. What's the name of this map? Well, you got many, five boxes. I have five. Oh, you have five. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better than thing. you did in any of the other trivia. Yeah, but yeah, I don't. You didn't look at stuff. I, like I gave you like <laughs> thirty-two <laughs> options for those two questions. Name two. Okay, one. This ain't me asking you what is uh, Joel Miller's um, age. Give me <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, wow. ask me what's his age. It's between, there was just two questions between... that I thought were bad. Like okay, the thank Overwatch you. And, and the, the Apex Legends. Apex Legends. Thank Legends you. Because okay. we don't really play those. Everything so. else was okay. Okay, I take that back. It wasn't bad questions. They're gonna keep coming. So you two, better start playing. Yeah, those two <laughs> questions were bullshit. <laughs> Let me well, know if you want to win the trivia. Start playing Apex uh, Overwatch. That's what this should teach you. Okay. All right. Wait until I bring up a Doom question in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, What's the name uh, of this you. demon that looks like a oh, ball? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, oh. You gotta wrap it up. Soon. I gotta. I gotta wrap it up. I gotta do my up. research and make sure I know that one for next week. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. All right. Bye.